Hi guys, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today I'm here in Illinois and I'm inside an abandoned observatory. So right now we are actually in the dome of the observatory, which is at the very top. And I'm just going to give you a quick place of this, a quick tour of this place because it's not really big. But also stay tuned to the end to see what happened while I was trying to film this video for the first time. Um, it's pretty funny. Anyway, so right here we are at the top. We are actually in the dome of the structure. Um, here is where the telescope would have sat. And of course, there are the very big doors that would have opened for the telescope to look out of. Now, this place was built in 1969. It opened in January. And it actually closed on April 1st, 1981 which is a terrible April Fool's Day prank to play. Now, apparently one of the reasons for the closure was that someone vandalized the telescope here. Um, and even though it was only open for a short time, it did produce scientific results. And those results are actually stored, I believe, with the University of Illinois. And the telescope from here, despite being vandalized, later was um, moved to California, where it's still in use today. Now, out here, past this wood, there's actually railings that go around the building, but they have that completely blocked off. Um, over here, we have a room with a concrete floor. And then we do have this wooden floor, which I would not step on because it looks like it would be my last step. And then as we continue to go down the stairs, we're going to find more rooms. Now, as you can see, this place is pretty heavily vandalized. Um, it has been abandoned since it closed in 1981. And it's actually now part of a wildlife management area. Now, they don't have any signs or anything that say no trespassing and the trail does go right by here. So I imagine lots of people, like myself, have let themselves in over the years. And due to that, we do have a lot of graffiti here. Um, and paint cans, as you can see. So now we're going down to the first level. Or sorry, we gotta stop at the halfway level first. So here, this is just a very small room. Then we get down to the first level. And you can see we kind of have just a little area under there. Um, looks like possible storage at one point, electrical boxes, stuff like that. And then we come in here. This is the bottom of the room where the dome is. But there's actually concrete blocks here so you can't see all the way to the top. And as you can see, they did try to seal off the entrance here with blocks, um, but the other entrance is pretty much wide open. And then if we make our way over here very carefully, um, I think we're gonna go the other way actually. It seems like it'd be easier. Yeah, easier definitely. Then we get into this huge room, which connects to the area where I could have fallen to my death. And oh, it actually looks like that panel over there, if you guys can see it, um, would have connected to the other side as well. So anyway, that is all that remains of this observatory. It was called the Prairie Observatory when it was open. Now it is part of a trail. It's a pretty cool place to check out if you can. Um, like I said, you can currently get in and there's no trespassing signs. Um, but it, or there's no no trespassing signs, sorry. But that may change over time. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And stay tuned to see what happened the first time I tried to film this video. Thanks again for watching. Oh, oh.
Oh, that was scary. 